basement of my home. But my ultimate goal is to have an Aikido dojo and the studio be part of it. Someday. Having a storefront studio location is for sure a dream. Unfortunately, most artists like me, we just don't have the capital to open brick and mortar stores right from the start. But with very little money, you can open a virtual studio. One that can reach far more customers than a brick and mortar store ever can. I'm a Japanese calligrapher, Aikido teacher, and Zen practitioner. I run my Japanese calligraphy studio from the basement of my home. I have sold hundreds of my original Japanese calligraphy through my online store for over 15 years. My calligraphies are displaying martial arts dojo around the world and also in many homes and businesses. In 2013, I opened an Etsy store and about a year ago, I stopped really paying too much attention to it. I haven't closed it down, but I'm thinking I will. The store was doing okay, I guess. I've sold a couple dozen calligraphies in there, but this whole time I've been asking myself the question, should I be selling my calligraphy on Etsy? Before you can start selling your art on Etsy, there has to be someone willing to buy it. You can load up a website, put up some listings, but if nobody knows you, you'll hear nothing but crickets. So before you start selling anything, focus on honing your craft and growing your audience. Now, if you have people interested in your art and are willing to buy it, then the biggest online art marketplace at the moment, it's Etsy. It is the most popular platform for artists and handmade crafters to sell their work. Think of it Etsy as an online art mall. There are some advantages of selling on Etsy, but there are also many disadvantages as well. So these are some of the advantages I saw on Etsy. Number one is convenience. It's really easy to set up an Etsy store. The platform takes care of everything from payment processing, shipping settings, and you have a pretty good storefront for a relatively small fee. Etsy charges 20 cents listing fee, meaning you pay 20 cents every time you list an item. I used to have about 20 calligraphy listed in there, so I pay like $3 to list them. The listings last for four months or until they sell. If they don't sell, you have to relist them, which means you have to pay another 20 cents listing fee. There are also two more fees. There's a 5% transaction fee and there's a 3.5% plus 25 cents payment processing fee. This may sound like a lot, but if you think about it, it really isn't taking into consideration that Etsy takes care of everything. Shipping is also very convenient and Etsy lets you purchase this kind of label from USPS, UPS, and Canada Post. And you can print the labels right from your account. Another advantage is searchability. Most customers go to Etsy to look for stuff. If you have the right keywords and tags, your products may show up in those results. Keep in mind though that stores with the higher amount of sales and ratings will show up first in those results. So if you haven't sold much, it will be harder for you to pop up in search results. Now let's talk about some of the disadvantages and the biggest one is definitely competition. Having all these features is unquestionably Etsy's biggest advantage, but just because you open an Etsy shop doesn't mean you'll have instant sales pouring in. Another challenge with Etsy is that Customers are just browsing the site looking for stuff. They may not particularly be looking for your stuff. So like I said, think of an Etsy as an online mall. People are just walking around window shopping. So it's up to you as the store owner to entice people to walk into your shop. To get people to your Etsy store, you need to have another venue that you're using to promote yourself, that you're using to promote your art. The site offers ways to do paid promotion, similar to like Facebook ads, but they cost money and that may cut down the already small profit that you're making from your art. The site is a vast marketplace and competition among artists selling similar items is only getting bigger. According to Etsy's website, the site has over 25 million users. A simple search with the words Japanese calligraphy on it provides a whopping 113 pages results. The most significant drawback that I find with Etsy is that the customer is buying from Etsy, not from you. Even though they're getting your artwork, you control neither the look and feel of the store nor the buying experience. Have you ever asked somebody, hey, where'd you get that? And they answer, oh, I bought it on Etsy. And this to me is a real disadvantage because your customers need to be your best promoters. They should be promoting you, not Etsy. If you're trying to build a brand around you and your art, selling on Etsy is not gonna help you build your brand. For example, the site security and privacy policies do not allow you to communicate with your customers outside of Etsy. 
you don't have access to their emails and they do not join your email list. While that may benefit customers, as a seller, that's a lost opportunity. The people that are most likely to buy something from you are the ones who have already bought something from you before. You want your customers to know you, to stay in touch. But with Etsy, once the purchase happened, you're out of the radar. In my opinion, the better option is to run your own store, one that you run from your own website. I use, I use WooCommerce, but there are many different options that you can use. It is certainly more complicated to go on your own, but I think that the benefits outweighs the shortcomings. sound kind of intuitive after what I just said, but if you want to start selling your art online, I do recommend giving Etsy a try. You may not generate a lot of sales, if any, but it will teach you a lot about listing, pricing, promotion, shipping, taxes. You will need to know all these things extremely well for when you venture on your own. I say this because in the beginning, I believe, it's better to focus on your art and let Etsy take care of the rest. There are a ton of very successful Etsy stores and many people are making a good living running them. But today's market is saturated and it's making it harder for anyone starting out. So, if you are going to have to put a lot of time and effort to promote yourself, to promote your brand, wouldn't want you to promote your own store too? So those are my two cents on how to sell calligraphy on Etsy based on my experience. If you're interested in checking out my own Japanese calligraphy online store, I'll put the link in the description. In there you can check out all my original calligraphies plus some of my custom work. If you've seen some of my calligraphies for sale on Etsy, Probably I'm not gonna leave it there for too long because I'm pretty sure I'm gonna shut down my Etsy store this year. So that's it for this one. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you soon.